Flandreau palettes. This is Natalia for FlandreauBlow.com and today I'm gonna show you one of the options for bookmark sharing available for Drupal. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's uh, pretty much on every blog. You can see these little buttons uh, or pop-up menus that allow you to share um, the page with your favorite social network and there are several platforms that do that and some of them do have modules with Drupal. However, uh, when I had to find a solution for my own project, I shopped around and at this seemed the one that suited my needs most uh, comprehensively. And it also was fairly easy to implement. It didn't even require registration on your part although it does give you additional features such as Google Analytics. Again, Add This is a third-party service that does have a Drupal module. You can download it from drupal.org. And I'm gonna show you how to configure it uh, using a development version of uh, my own website. And so um, I have enabled the module on the website and then I go to Site Configuration Add This and configure obviously if you go to the demonstration on add this yeah you can see different types for my website i want to have something like this when you have several key services such as facebook in a separate button and then you have a menu with more services available now the good thing about the module that you don't have to copy um, all this code. So let's go back and choose a toolbox, which is what gives you uh, the buttons. Uh, so we have a list of basic service codes and we can just copy it over. For example, let's say I want to have Facebook as first service. So just control C and um, now you have to be careful here. It says comma separated. So um, if I add Twitter, right? So add in Twitter, comma, then Twitter. And I want to have the last pop up menu. Okay, add this menu. Here it is. So let's save it and check if it's actually working for our now types. So I have opened a story content and I can see the links, the buttons being added or to where uh, the Drupal links area is. Now I want to customize it a little bit more. For example, I want this um, sh uh, add this menu to have some text added to it. I go back choose customize service tab on add this configuration page there's a helpful link here if you want to go take a look so um now the service code is menu and uh the button is add this button compact and you can find this out on uh add this documentation page and i also want to add some title for example, I wanted to say um, share uh, this story. Then I save configuration. And af after I have refreshed the page, I can see it's changed. So now you have this nice pop up. Um, let's do a few more things. When you click on Twitter link, you get this uh, template and the last uh, word you have is add, add this. Now this can actually be changed to the title of your website. I'm gonna show you how. This is where you have to go to templates and just change this to whatever you want it to be. And so configuration. I also want to change well, just tweak a little bit the menu. For example, you could, if you want, change 
customize the list of the services that appear on pop-up or on click and change the class i actually want the button the buttons to be bigger 32 by 32 pixels and i can do this by choosing this style you can customize the colors and i also want to delay hover by i guess one second okay it's one second let's Let's make it 15 milliseconds and save it. Go back, refresh, and yeah, you see it's bigger, and you do get some kind of a delay that you can change. So if you click, see the um, the pop-up has a lot more services, and you can uh, remove any of them using the uh, module configuration page and this offers more options for example it also has a, a block that's gonna show whatever you have in your toolbox services and you can also completely customize the uh, look of your icons uh, by uh, using your own custom icons in changing the css you can drop a comment if you want to find out how. So I guess this is uh, pretty much what it does. It's a nice little module uh, that adds some interactivity to your website and will probably help you generate more traffic. This is Natalie for FriendlyDribble.com. Until next!